Hey y'all, it's Ashley from Leather Company. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the Toadstool Cow knit version. So for 2023, through our Leather Collection subscription box, this year we will have one skein accessories as our featured projects. We will do a one skein knit project and a one skein crochet project. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the knit project that we featured this month, which is the Toadstool Cow. It is created with our featured colorway of the month. It's super fun, super beautiful, and I loved creating this. If you are looking for these yarns, you can find it in our store at theletherco.com. This colorway we're featuring this month is called Toadstool. It is super beautiful. It's on our DK base, and I loved working with it. Now, before we dive into this tutorial, let's go over some supplies that we're going to need and some notes to note about making this pattern. So you're gonna need some materials. You're going to need yarn. You're gonna need DK weight, which is a weight three. This month we're featuring our toadstool DK. You're gonna need approximately 200 yards. You're also going to need knitting needles. You're going to need a US size six, which is a four millimeter and 24 inch circular needles. And then other supplies that I always recommend to have is a tapestry needle, scissors, measuring tape, and stitch markers. There is a gauge to work up this pattern. It is 16 stitches and 16 rows equals a four by four square. And the stockinette stitch in the round. The finished size of this cowl once it's completed is 21 and a half inches circumference and five and a half inches in length. Throughout this pattern, we are using basic stitches we are casting on. We're using the knit stitch and the purl stitch. It's all about the placement to create this beautiful texture. Now some notes to note about this pattern is that this cowl is worked in rounds. I recommend using a stitch marker to mark the beginning of the round and also to mark the rows to keep track of count. All right, so let's grab our yarn and our knitting needles and dive into this mini tutorial on how to add this gorgeous texture to our Toadstool Cowl, the knit version. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you how to work this tutorial on a much smaller scale than what your cow actually will look like. I just wanted to be able to kind of get this set up so that I can show you at the same point of where you're going to be working this. But essentially you're going to work your ribbing first, which is going to be rounds one through nine. You're gonna have eight rounds of knit two, purl two to create the two two ribbing. Then you're gonna have one round of knit all the way around to just kind of create the kind of border of your ribbing before we start on the center main texture. And then the top will have this same ribbing as well. But what I'm gonna do in the tutorial is I'm gonna show you how to work the center portion which creates the beautiful texture. So essentially how this works is it's a four round repeat. The first two rounds are the same, and then the second two rounds are the same, but they're the opposite of what you did in the previous rounds. So I'm gonna show you how to work round 10. Round 10 and 11 are gonna be the same. And then I'm gonna show you how to work round 12, and round 12 and 13 will be the same. All right, so let's dive in. And to work the repeat for round number 10 is we're going to knit two, purl two. So it's going to be the same thing that you did in the ribbing, but we're going to be working this to create the start of the texture. So we're going to work a knit two and then a purl two. And that's the repeat that we are going to repeat to work round 10. So knit two and then purl two. So it's the same exact thing we did in the ribbing. We are just now going to do this for two rounds to start the main center of the cowl. So knit two, purl two. Okay, so for round 10 and 11, work that repeat and then I will show you how to work round 12 and round 13. Again, for round 10 and 11, we are knitting two and purling two. So let me show you this up super close. We are going to knit two. So there's one, there's two, and then we're going to purl two. Okay. 
again, knit two, purl two. So if you need help with the ribbing, this is the same exact thing that we did in the ribbing where we are working a knit two and a purl two. So I, as a crocheter, like to hold my yarn like I do in crochet. So when I crochet, I'm always holding my yarn in my left hand and let it kind of control my tension. And that's what I like to do in the knitting as well. So as I'm working that, as I'm working that knit stitch, I'm just going in, grabbing the yarn as I would as if I was crocheting, and then taking the loop off. So we're gonna knit two, and we're gonna bring the yarn forward so we can go in the back way and purl two. All right, so continue that repeat until you have worked round 10 and 11. Okay, so once you work that round of repeats twice, we're now going to work the opposite. So like I said before, when you go to work the next two rounds, which will be rounds three and four of this repeat, you're going to then do the opposite of what you did here. In the previous two rounds, we worked a knit two and then a purl two. So for rounds three and four of the repeat, we're going to work purl two, knit two. So we're basically going to do the opposite. So let's go ahead and do that. I've moved my stitch marker over to the other side so I know where the beginning of my round is. So we're going to purl two, and then knit two two and we're going to do this for two rounds and basically this is the opposite of what we did in rounds one and two so then it'll start to kind of create this bumpy look alternating throughout the cowl okay so let's work that repeat again we're going to purl two and then we're going to knit two Okay, and that's the repeat, purl two, knit two. Okay, so as you can see now, the first two rounds of the main portion of our cowl repeat matched our ribbing, but now that we are working the opposite of that repeat, we've got this gorgeous, like bumpy going on, and it's so pretty. Okay, so let me show you how to do the repeat one more time. We are going to purl two, there's one and there's two and then putting the yarn in the back we are going to knit two so basically it is a four stitch repeat super simple it'll be easy to kind of tell where you are because you're going to do two rounds of each repeat and then you'll alternate with the other repeats so that's how you'll work the repeat for rounds three and four. All right, y'all, thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me as we went over how to work this gorgeous texture in this cowl. Again, if you're looking for this yarn, you can find it in our store at theletherco.com. This is Toadstool DK. You can also find this knit pattern as a PDF download in our store as well. I will link it down below. And again, if you're not a member of Leather Collection, we would love to have you come on over and join us. Through 2023, we are featuring our theme as Woodlands. Every month, we're featuring a new Woodland theme. They're so fun. They're so beautiful. With Leather Collection, we feature different yarn weights every month. Through 2023, we're going to have a one skein crochet project we feature and a one skein knit. We're doing accessories this year, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you're not a member, come on over and join us, theletherco.com. This one is the Lether Collection subscription box. All right, y'all, until next time, grab all your yarns, your crochet hooks, your knitting needles, and get hooked. Bye, guys.